Hello everyone, welcome to Ilkida platform and this is Ravin Jangit here, your electrical faculty. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the overlapping and that is uh, for the line commuted converter. So if we talk about the overlapping, so let's, uh, let's talk about the without overlapping case. So if you talk about the without overlapping and that we have already discussed in the previous lecture, it means at a time the two thyristor will operate and one from the upper portion, com upper committed portion and uh, second will be from the lower committed portion. So at a time two thyristors are operating just like this. One second. Just like this. So one will operate at a time, one will operate and second and second interval two and three and for the third three and four for the next one four five five six and six one this in this way they are going to be operated but what happens uh, as so i can uh, write one by one so we have to uh, attack these points also so at any instant of time only the two walls conduct so that is the ideal case if we talk about the ideal case then this is the ideal case so only the two walls are conducting and the current transfer instantaneously from the one to the wall number next this is if we talk about the general case if we, there is no overlapping then from wall number to one to wall number second you can say the wall number second for the upper upper portion committed will be three and after the completion of the three there will be a five in this way they should be operated okay but what happens but what happens due to the inductance or you can say the leakage reactance so what is the property of the inductance or the leakage reactance? They, they are not allowing the current suddenly. So this is the property due to the electromagnetic property. So they are not going to allow the sudden change in current. If they are not going to allow the sudden change in current, it means, it means, so they are not going to allow, they are not going to allow sudden change in current sudden change in current change in current if they are not allowing the sudden change in current current if the one of the thyristor that is the thyristor number one from the upper portion is operated then instantaneously the uh, instantaneously current should be operated for the wall number three but that is not operating along with that after the complete conduction of one the uh, wall number three should be operated but what happens the along with that uh, along with that as a wall before completion before the completion of the, its conduction for the wall number one the three will operate and that is called the overlapping it means and because this current uh, this current uh, here it is a current okay so that current in the wall number one should be instantaneously instantaneously should be transferred to the wall number three but what happens due to the inductance it will take the some time to operate you can say like this so but uh, but before that the three will all three also had started or turned on so it means there will be a low lapping overlapping and that overlapping so the amount of time or you can say the portion of time for uh, for uh, the time the wall one or you can say the wall number three or you can take the other examples then the conduction is actually overlapping is called the overlap angle that time is called the overlap angle so we are uh, so we are taking the sum of the point here that is the wall number three if we consider the wall number three and it is conducting okay it is conducting so the period of time so period of time the supply interval into the sub intervals so we can divide into the two sub intervals what are the two sub intervals the first sub interval i can take it is the three walls conducting three walls are conducting and in the second sub interval i can take the two walls are conducting okay guys that we have to consider it means in the first sub interval if the two uh, three walls are conducting then th that i am taking the first sub interval so that is actually based on the assumption that overlap angle is less than 60 degree and that is the uh, generally overlapping case and uh, it is actually having the three modes of operation we will discuss one by one 
So if we talk about the less than 60 degrees, that, if that is the only case uh, we are dividing into the two subintervals. In the first subinterval, it will have the two walls are conducting. In the second in the subinterval, the two walls uh, only the two walls are conducting. The overlapping that you should uh, understand that it is a time period. It is a time period before the before the complete conduction of the one, the three has started. So that there will be overlapping between the conduction of one and the conduction of three. Because suppose there is a time for the conduction number one and it is operating for the some time. Let us uh, say, assume any point or distance. And before going to that, before the ideally it should be operated and then after it, the wall number three operated. But what happens before the wall number one completion, it is operating because it's a time has increased due to the inductance. So there will be, there will be this thumb to thumb. There will be, a, there will be a some interval. Okay, that we have to understand. So three walls are conducting that we have to remember here, and the two walls are conducting. Now next, overlap angle. Overlap angle is greater than 60 degrees. If you talk about the overlap angle, then the more than two walls will be conducting, and more than two walls are conducting. Okay, now we will look for uh, our diagram some finite time the four walls are also conducted then we will see in the further lecture that you have to remember for uh, only read you have to only read for that uh, this lecture if you talk about this this is actually this upper one is actually showing the showing the upper commuter commuted uh, thyristors or you can say the portion and this is the lower commuted portion or uh, it is having the wall number one, three, and five, and it is having the two, four, and six. So at a time, at a time, so one and two are operating. At second interval, two and three are operating, and third and four are operating. This is the ideal actually case. So if we talk about this one, the first, so one and six operating. In this two, uh, in this one and two are operating. This two and three are operating. In this four, three and four are operating. In this four and five will operate and like this. So if here, if it is one and two are operating, the after the completion of three, okay, after the completion of one, after the completion of one, then that uh, in the second next interval, the three will operate. But what happens? What happens due to the inductance, due to the leakage inductance, this will operate or the one will operate more than as the decided value that it should be operated 120 degree and it is operating for more than but the thing is that each thyristor will operate each thyristor will operate for the 120 degree conduction each thyristor will operate for the 120 degree conduction it means that each interval each interval is going to be a 60 degree for each each interval is going to be a 60 degree it means one two three four five six like this if we are considering and this again is starting so these are the six intervals and they are operating for each are each interval is operating for 60 degrees so it is going to be 360 degree operation and that is the valid so and so this is the basic fundamental i will talk about i will talk about what are the different modes of operation if you talk about the overlapping then what are the what are the different modes of operation so i can write that <clears throat> so there are three different modes of operation so if we talk about the three different modes of operation the first mode is the called the generally mode number one and in the mode number one the overlapping is considered to be 60 degree then second i will talk about the mode number two mode number two and here the overlapping is considered to be equal to 60 degree and in the third is called the mode number three that is called the mode number three and that is the mu is greater than 60 degree that we have to remember so whenever we talk about whenever we talk about the mode number one so i will write in the mode number one at a single time there are the two to three thyristors you can say two and the three walls conducting it means either the two walls may conduct or there may be a chance of three conducting th three walls are conducting at the same time but when we talk about the mode number two then we can say the three walls are conducting 
then we can say three walls are conducting okay and in the mode number three in the mode number three there are the three and four walls are conducting that we have to remember so i can say there are the three modes of operation mode number one mode number two and the mode number three and if we talk about the mode number one then that will operate for the mu is less than 60 degree. that is actually the general operation or uh, you can say the general operation for the overlapping the maximum um, generally or you can say the maximum time the mode number will no mode number one will happen Mode number two and mode number three are not generally happening, but we have to understand all the modes uh, uh, carefully. So in the mode number one, the two and the three walls are conducting. Mode number two, the three walls are conducting. And the mode number three, the three to four walls are conducting. Either the three wall conduct or the four walls conduct. So this is the basic conduction mode which is written here. I hope you have understood up to this point and we will uh, one by one we will move for, move for the mode number one, two and three. So, so up to here, I hope uh, you have understood. So Tata bye bye and thank you.